Hello and welcome to So You Think You Have Forbid 19. I am your host, Lamisha, here with all the facts. So, now nah, I'm just joking. But on a serious note, so last Thursday, um, take it back to Wednesday. Last Wednesday, the night before my um, daughter went to school, she was just fine, you know. Thursday morning, fine. About... 10 11 the school called and said that um my child was experiencing a runny nose and coughing and to come pick her up and that she could not return back to school until she is tested for forbid 99 so um me being a person that does not believe in this forbid I I already knew what it was. You know, nine times out of ten, if your child or children are experiencing the same thing, hello, number one, fall is here. I don't know if y'all uh, or anyone knows what fall means. It means the leaves are falling. It means the pine cones are falling. It means the flowers are falling. What do all of these things have in common? They're full of pollen. Okay? There's a little thing called a little fall sickness, a little pre-flu you know all that stuff it ain't even cold yet okay we got pollen everywhere i i, I was even a little sneezy and you know what i'm saying all that stuff but anyway to hop back on this story so they say she can't come back without a positive test so the process of the test do you know that it is easier to get the vacuum than it is to get tested for the forbid 99 how is that what if you never even experienced any symptoms for the um forbid 99 you can just just go get go get uh sucked up with the vacuum just cuz just so you don't and then you end up getting the forbid 99 that's strange but anywho to my journey of trying to find a testing site so she can go back to school because there's nothing wrong with her she's eating still She's jumping around still. She's talking still. She's breathing still. No problems. No blue lips. No uh, loss of appetite. No loss of sleep. Just snotty. Just snotty and coughing. Okay? I get it. I get it. The 4 bed 99 is going to get everybody. And we got this whole new game show. So you think you got the 4 bed 99 and everyone is losing their goddamn brains. But anyway... You, in order to get a test, you have to take an, you have to get an appointment just to take a test. Now, before, when it first started out, oh, there were people outside giving out tests and free chicken and free watermelon and free beer and free weed. But now when we really need it, when it's getting cold, there's no testing sites. So the 4Bid 99 saga continues. And um, in order, like I said, in order to get the test, you have to make an appointment. Now, in order to get an appointment, you have to find a website. You have to go on a website to get an appointment. You can't get an appointment over the phone. No, that is too goddamn easy. What the? Why? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. You did, no, don't call no one and get instant gratification. You have to go online and make an appointment. And within one to two days, Honestly, I've I've heard about people with the four bed ninety nine dying in two. I'm laughing because this shit is ridiculous. But anyway, um, people have died in a span of two and three and four days from the four bed ninety nine supposedly allegedly. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, but you have to wait at least one or two days to get an appointment. Then you have to wait two to three days to get the fucking. <laughs> To get the fucking test back, okay? They have to mail it to you. They're not going to call you about it. They have to send it through the mail. <sighs> now, this is really going to make y'all laugh. So, you go on the website to sign up, and they ask you questions about the symptoms, right? So, it's labeled in mild and moderate. You know, like spicy or unspicy or a little bit spicy, you know? So, the number one for the 4 bed 99 is you're dead, your lips are blue, you can't breathe for sis, and I would hate it if the 
person that needed the oh my god the person that actually does have four bid 99 if allegedly supposedly accidentally whatever if they got it and they on their phone or on their computer trying to they they're not gonna make it through this whole process because you got to do a damn multiple choice questionnaire but anywho uh uh, uh moderate um high fever 104 and nine times out of ten if you got a temperature of 104 you're done you're cooked this up here that's cooking you ain't gonna be able to use no damn computer but you can't call anyone but anyway moderate this is i mean mild is i think the loss of the taste and the smell and all that shit which that could happen for any type of reason. You could burn your tongue and lose a taste of um, lose your taste your uh taste buds or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, seeing as how my child has none zero. Now this was per school request. I think I said that, but to reiterate, the school says she can't come back until she has a positive test. So, when they, when you get down to the bottom of it, and you see that that's not the symptoms that they have, and it's a supposed case, You do you, you know what happens? Absolutely fucking nothing. They say, don't worry about it. So now what? Did I win the contest? So you think you have 4 bid 99 Did we win? Are we in the running? Do we get a trophy? Do we get a card? Do, do, what do we do now? What do we do now? And then as a parent, guess what happens when your kid doesn't go to school? They fucking send letters and they fucking call, right? It, it, yeah. Yeah, so if there's a lady or something other in your neighborhood and you ain't seen her in a while, she probably got locked up because a child had a booger in their fucking nose. Because a child is wearing a mask all goddamn day and the heat. <sighs> Bodies are hot. And just think of little small children that do this literally all damn day. They burning it. They're cooking their skulls. Literally. Of course, my nose uh, 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 drips sometimes whenever I wear a mat or wear a mask or whatever. So I can, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get how we used to be so smart. And now that the four bed 99 is here, everyone is fucking dumb. Every, well, the ones that believe in supposedly, allegedly, uh, uh, they believe in this shit and they're losing their goddamn minds. No one has common sense anymore. It's cold and it's hot, especially where I live. The temperature is, it changes like from at least 12 o'clock at night until the next day. The temperature changes hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. And this is no cap. You can ask anybody from North Carolina. It is like that here. And this, and think about it. It's October. It should be, you know, medium temp around this time of the year, but not here. It's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. So, what was the last part of this that I was going to say? Okay. So, I get off the website because they basically said, um, we don't know what to do with someone that just has boogers in their nose and they need a test. So, I call the hospital. Our local big ass hospital. So they have the options of the four bed 99. Do you think you have this? Do you think you got that? Okay, we're going to put you on hold. There is no one to take your fucking phone call. Have a nice day. Guess I got to wait for season two. So you think you have four bid 99.